Now in the Pac-12, just to explain the scheduling format for people that are unaware, you play everyone in your division. So think of it this way, you get 12 teams, you get 11 opponents, possible opponents, you play nine conference games, so you're missing two teams, they're gonna be in the other division. So for Oregon this year, you miss USC, and you miss, it uh, looks AS, like Arizona ASU. State. ASU, yeah. Yes. Which That's pretty favorable. Absolutely favorable, 100%, especially where, where you see Utah at, where you see Colorado at right now. Both teams, feels like uh, maybe Colorado's on the rise. Maybe uh, Utah's taking a step back from where they were the last couple of years. No, I, I, and then you get to play UCLA down there. I think, I think recruiting is really important on the West Coast to be able to play well in Los Angeles. If you can get down there, have those re- those, those kids who are in Los Angeles come to that game and, and be on the uh, side of your sideline, um, I think it's a big deal. UCLA is a unique school. Uh, last year, they played Oregon very tough. They had some of the best defensive line in our conference last year. And um, Chip Kelly, I feel like, might be on a little bit of a hot seat. There's, that's a real question mark. So going into this year, Arizona, the way the schedule works out is you got Arizona at home. I think it's the most favorable start to the conference schedule. Feels like they're the team that's struggling the most right now. Uh, Stanford down there is always a tough place to play Stanford, but they don't have the raucous crowd. And we don't even know what crowds are going to be like. I could see the West Coast really slow to fill those stadiums back up. Um, and maybe they're at half capacity or even less. But uh, the bye comes early in the schedule this year. Uh, uh, having Cal at home, you know, uh, Cal played Oregon very tough last year. That's on a Friday night. Cal played Oregon very tough. Now Cal's defensive coordinator, they had a co-defensive coordinator. And Oregon uh, defensive coordinator basically uh, uh, have switched positions. So Keith Hayward went to Cal. He was our safeties coach. And and uh, Tim DeRuiter went to Oregon, who was the co-defensive coordinator. So there's a lot of interplay between those two schools. That's going to be a hell of a game. Every year that is. Uh, the UCLA game is always going to be big, uh, no matter what team they put on the field. It's just how that goes. And being down there is always good. Colorado at home. I think Colorado's on the way up. Uh, Carl Durrell's got a good thing going on there. Uh, he was very, It was very surprising what they were doing last year. The fact that they were in the running possibly for the South uh, was unheard of, if you would have asked us at the beginning of the year. Washington up there, always tough, but... Oregon's played well up in Seattle lately. Washington State at home. Uh, and Utah out there. I think that's a really scary one. The Utah game and the UCLA one are both real question marks. And then Oregon State, because Oregon State won this last year, I tend to think Oregon's going to rebound and and uh, and possibly put it on them a little bit at home. So I think it's a great schedule. Ryan Winter, Sports Chat 503. Check out his YouTube channel. Just type that in, Sports Chat 503. You'll be able to find it right there. Oregon Athletics across the board. Of course, we're interested in football. You get that year round, uh, but also the other sports as well. And uh, Ryan, once they hit the spring practice, if we get any news out of there, which is sometimes difficult to do, but if we hear anything, certainly would love to have you back soon and uh, to talk more football because the off season's long. So we want to hear from you. Yeah, it is. It is. And I think, you know, this is the greatest thing about what we're doing, you know, with you, Voice College Football, with, you know, everybody else on YouTube is just trying to promote the brand and trying to give uh, people what they want, which is just more content talking about the thing they love. I think college football has really, really grown. And during our time and our lifetime, more than any other sport, the influence of college football, I think, is, is bigger than it's ever been right now. All right, Ryan. Appreciate it. Thanks, man.